Hi, my name is Kevin Martin. I'm here with Jennifer Phillips Russo. This is what is normally our weekly update. We're doing a little bit more often as the world changes faster. So thank you for joining us yet again, if you are. And uh, since it's not coming out every day, every Wednesday or Thursday, like it used to, uh, please check back on, on some of our previous updates to make sure you're not missing anything important. Uh, again, uh, I, Jennifer wanted to update us on some DEC inf information related to COVID-19 and the fact that it's fairly difficult to hold meetings right now. So Jennifer. Hi, thanks Kevin. Hi everybody. I know that a lot of people have been asking us some questions in regards to pesticide certification and business registration during this pause New York. And the DEC has put out some new information as of April 7th, today is April 9th. It's going to go out in our crop update today, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up so you can get this information from two different areas. So what's going on right now is that the governor has actually put in a, declaring a disaster emergency state for New York and in all the links are located in the crop update. So please make sure that you see our crop update today because I know a lot of you are concerned about this. So in regards to that, the DEC is having um, all of the certification exams, so if you're not certified yet, all of the certification exams through April 29th are canceled and they realize that this might be inconvenient to some people, they're gonna reassess it after that. However, it is to keep everybody safe, including the examiners who, who would be um, administering those exams. So in regards to recertification credits, if you have your license, and it may have expired as of November 1st of 2019, and you have to go to their site to really get into the gist of all of this. They are basically, all certification applicators and technicians are required to have a valid certification ID card in their possession when you work. And many of them will not be able to continue to get your educational credits required for recertification because of all the classroom courses that have been canceled in the near term. So they recognize that. So they're saying that at this time, the DC will allow any applicator whose certification has lapsed on or after November 1st of 2019 to continue to operate until 60 days after the expiration of the executive order 202. That's the one that came from Governor Cuomo. And any extension, I'm sorry? That is yes. the disaster order, okay. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> so any penalty training credits that would otherwise be required for these applicators will also be waived. So this extension will allow time for courses to start opening back up and recertification exams to become available for staff to keep pace with the pending applications. Um, bear with me as I just kind of read through what they're allowing and not allowing. So the DEC says that they're going to reassess the situation periodically to determine if this allowance for certifications will need to be extended further. So as of right now, just to reiterate, that if the DEC, not if, sorry, the DEC will allow any applicator whose certification lapsed on or after November 1st, 2019 to continue to operate until 60 days after the expiration of that executive order. And again, the links are all in the crop update. Please make sure that you go to the DEC's website and read everything on there as well. If you, are a, you have a business registration, the DEC will allow businesses and agencies whose registrations lapsed on or after March 1st of 2020 to continue to operate during the current crisis until 60 days after the expiration of that executive order 202 and any extensions issued to it. So if they reassess and extend it, then that still applies. So what they're saying for you to do is that if you have lapsed, you should still certainly reapply for your recertification because they are going to be addressing them as they go along. And even if they can't have the classes, you still have your paperwork in there for when they open it up and then you're ready to go. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. So to pay your pesticide applicator technician certification and business agency registration application fees, you can do that online. That's another thing that I've added to here and that has all of the, um, you can either mail in the invoice or pay via electronic check, debit card or credit card. So then when we're ready to go and they recertify everybody, 
all that information is there. So what they are asking you to do is always have your license on you, even if it's expired. And then they've given you what's called a um, enforcement discretion for extension of pesticide applicator, applicator recertification and business agency registration letter, like an emergency letter. The link is in the crop update as well. They ask that you carry that letter with you and your expired license so that if you are indeed um, approached, you have all the right information there. So does anybody, do you have any questions about any of that, Kevin? Yeah, no, I'm just kind of thinking about how, how this will impact some growers and things like that. And it sounds like, um, you know, I don't think most growers let their license expire on, on by mistake, like on November 1st, for example. Um, but it sounds like if you can't get credits this summer and or this spring and your license is expiring in May or June, it's, go it's going to apply the same way in the sense that um, now you have no control over the situation because you can't get credits, you can't necessarily get recertified. So if it expires, say June 1st and the disaster order is still in effect, uh, you just proceed as normal and get your credits later. Yeah, I would just advise to carry your card in that letter just in case. Right. And one more other note, this has nothing to do with DEC credits, this has to do with Kevin and I trying to provide a little more um, time, face-to-face -face time, should you need it outside of our virtual office hours. In this crop update, Kevin and I are going to do some hours. I'm going to be available on Thursdays from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. Just for maybe some of those people who cannot get to the ones that are already scheduled. And then Kevin, for business management questions, is going to be available on Wednesday evenings from 7 to 8. So we're going to try that next week, starting the week of April 13th, to see how well that goes. The, the other thing is, this is, um, this is what's going on in New York. If you haven't heard in Pennsylvania for your license, um, if you have a personal applicator license, that deadline was extended. Uh, it will probably continue to be extended if it needs to be. Um, it will probably continue to be extended if it needs to be. I got a phone call here. <laughs> uh, but uh, if, if that only applies in Pennsylvania to personal applicators, so if you have a commercial license in Pennsylvania, as far as I know, they haven't really done anything yet. So hopefully you were on top of your credits and staying ahead of it uh, because uh, you do need to remain in compliance and current. There are online opportunities to help businesses and commercial applicators do that. And I think they're aware of those opportunities. So that's why they've, they've made that decision to go that route. Uh, but other than that, uh, we'll, we'll definitely see you next week, uh, hopefully at our office hours, if you have any questions about this or anything else. Thanks, everybody, for joining. We hope to see you soon. As always, please feel free to reach out via email or call our cell phones to get in touch with us as well. We just want to let you know that we are here for you during this time, and we are still operating. Thank you. Have a great day. Be well. Okay.